617 now. Meteorologist Carson Merritt is joining us. The sun has just come up and it looks like a pretty day. It does. Are we going to get any break from the heat, though? That's what we really want to know. Maybe a little bit technically, but even so, when you factor in that humidity, it's still going to feel like the lower triple digits this afternoon. So just stay cool, stay hydrated. Friendly reminder, we still have about another month left in summer before we officially hit fall. Temperatures this morning already in the mid-70s out there. There's your 6 o'clock update. 76 in the Shoals. Good morning, Moulton at 72 in Lawrence County. 71 in Decatur, 71 in Huntsville, 73 in Scottsboro, and 70 degrees in Fort Payne this morning. All quiet across the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Can't rule out a few of those thunderstorms later on today. Not going to be too terribly widespread, though. You may also encounter some of that dense fog this morning, too, as those kids head off to the bus stop. 72 degrees. We're going to kind of hover in this low to mid-70s range for the next couple of hours. That fog starts to dissipate, I'd say, around 8 or 9 o'clock this morning. And later on, we'll have a couple of pop-up storms around. Nothing too widespread, like I mentioned a moment ago. But it's still going to be hot out there. 91 degrees. That's our forecast high. Just a 30% chance for those pop-up storms later on today. The bigger headline will once again be the heat. Even though those actual air temperatures are about five degrees cooler compared to yesterday, still going to feel like the lower triple digits today. Feeling like 101 around 2 o'clock this afternoon. Feeling like 100 around 4 p.m. today. So if at all possible, try to avoid those outside activities during that peak heat of the day. And if you have to be outside, stay cool and stay hydrated out there. Temperatures still going to feel like the lower 90s by 8 o'clock tonight, though. Here's future radar with those temperatures. The data sources continue to trend drier today. That's certainly some good news. By lunchtime today, at least according to this day source, right around 12 noon, looking pretty good. Just a few passing clouds, that's all. There you see a couple of those pop-up showers and storms here and there. But again, a lot of locations are actually probably going to stay dry today. There's 4 p.m. today. By 7 p.m., we start to dry things out just a little bit. Going to do it all over again for your Friday. Mostly clear skies to start off the day. Temperatures back in the mid-70s as we close out the work week. Back into the right around 90 degrees for your Friday afternoon. And many spots are going to remain dry tomorrow. It's just a 20% chance for an isolated shower as we wrap up the work week on Friday. Now let's turn our attention to the tropics and I want to emphasize here that this is not our official forecast. This is just what we've been seeing in the data trends over the last couple of days. We mentioned that tropical disturbance a little while ago. It's not an official tropical cyclone yet, but what you're looking at here is one particular data source's idea of the impacts we can see on the Gulf Coast and here in North Alabama. So here we go. This is six o'clock Sunday morning. There you see what is likely a major hurricane according to this data source making landfall along the Louisiana coast 7 o'clock Monday morning. The heaviest rain by and large stays off to our west through the day on Monday. There's 7 o'clock Tuesday morning and then you notice that sharp right hand turn brings that heavy rainfall into North Alabama for pretty much the entire day on Tuesday into Tuesday night and into Wednesday as well. Now again, it is way too early for specifics beyond that. I'm just giving you a heads up that we might be dealing with some heavier rainfall and a major hurricane possibly making landfall on the Gulf Coast this weekend. Here's your rainfall forecast. This will change in the coming days. West of I-65 for now can see upwards of two and a half to three inches of rain. Everybody else east of I-65, we're looking at about one to two inches of rain in the week ahead. But again, that forecast will continue to change and be fine tune in the days to come. Now until then, just classic summertime weather. That's all. A few pop-up storms each day. Temperatures in the low 90s through Saturday and we're back into the mid to upper 80s by Sunday and next week.